Well, welcome back. And we have a little time yet to visit. And I, I want to reintroduce my guest, Vadim Kolendenko. I got oh, it right. It was okay. And our own maestro, which we, uh, he's proud American now. We claim him I all the right way. <laughs> and we're so grateful for what you have done with the orchestra here in Greenville and the outreach that you've had and brought to new life to what was always good, but now is tremendous. Yes, thank you. I'm and really Bill lucky. Johnson, who's the executive director. How many hours a day do you practice? Uh, healthy minimum is six hours. Six or seven? Yeah, six, six seven, or seven eight, hours a day. ten. And how, how long did you start playing the piano when you were a small boy or... Uh, so when I was six years old. When uh, you were six. Yeah. So an original idea to put me on this, you know, very hard way uh, belongs to my mother. Uh, she wants uh, that I do something useful. He wa your yeah. mother wanted you to do something useful. Yeah. I think all mothers would agree. Except with of that. playing soccer. So, uh, <laughs> and I, I should say that um, she never forced me to practice and uh, just after a few first lessons I uh, feel that I like to do this and I love music and uh, I started to practice by myself. I, I cannot say that I practice at that time six hours of course but uh, I feel that I literally cannot live without uh, this feeling of you know playing in audience or listening music. So uh, and Step by step, it became my, my profession, my, my, my lifestyle. So your mother wanted you to do something useful. So at six years of age, you sat down at the piano, and the whole world has changed because of what you have accomplished. It's pretty, pretty astounding. No, I should is, say, is it is mother, my, my life. Is changed. your mother still living? Yeah. So she must be very, very proud. Were, were your family musicians in your family? or? No one. No um, one. Yeah. No one. See? I'm yeah. first one. You just never know, right? Yeah. Uh, my wife, she's a musician. Oh, really? Yeah. What does your wife do? She teaches? Uh, she teaches. She, she she's a piano player, and, uh, but she, she teaches now. Okay. Uh, and you're, you have a little child? Three years, three years old daughter. Little girl or boy? Yeah, girl. A little girl. girl. And are you going to have that little girl study music? I'm afraid she doesn't have any, any <laughs> other chance. <laughs> That's really, I love that. My mother wanted me to do something useful. I think she's won her, her accolades. Yeah. So now you practice at least six hours a day. Yeah. I try to, I try to accomplish this. Because uh, otherwise, you know, uh, you can very easily lose what, what you get after, you know, you practice a lot. And if you don't practice for, for a long time, yeah. uh, it's very you know, audible. Do you have a favorite composer or favorite music that you like to play, aside from what you're playing here in Greenville? Uh, of course, I like Tchaikovsky. Uh, <laughs> but, no. I, you know, I, I, I uh, don't make any dis distinction between composers. I, I like almost all music, uh, you know, from, from Bach to contemporary. And You uh, like contemporary music as well? Sure. Yeah, good. So it's the, the whole field. Whole field. The whole field. Yeah, yeah. And you've kind of been called the rock star pianist, so <laughs> who knows? Who knows? And Maestro, I know that you're thrilled to have oh, yes. one of your fellow countrymen here. Absolutely. But most importantly, winner of Van Klebering competition. Yeah. That is a great uh, event for us. Why do they only do the Van Klebering competition every four years? No, because uh, it must be somebody to grow, you know. Okay. Yeah, okay. It is, you cannot take harvest every year. And also you can have to give winners some time to establish their career, I think. Because yeah. it's almost, uh, it's already very busy, you know. We have not only Van Kleiber, but maybe also nice competitions, the dozens around the world. And so now Vadim is a winner. But I'm sure that in a couple of months, another competition somewhere happens, another winner, and they're all winners. 
Yeah. And so they all, they all have to play and they have to build career. I think it's very important also for any winner to be able to create career without stop because sometimes it happens that some winner disappears in a while, after a while. So the most difficult to, after being a winner, to be on top through the end of your life. And that's what I wish to Vadim. Thank you so much. Yeah, and of course, it's some luck also, because you can be genius, but I, I wish you great health, talent, but of course, luck. Because Thanks. not everything, uh, unfortunately. But I'm, I'm sure you will, be, you will be great. Well, it's a we'll wonderful see. opportunity. And yeah. <coughs> his plane literally just landed, and they came here to share with us. And, uh, and then he's going to practice tonight. So <laughs> it's <laughs> yes. wonderful. And Bill, let me ask you, this concert is the Greenville Symphony Orchestra at the Peace Center. And it's Saturday night at 8 o'clock and Sunday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Yes. And you have special prices <laughs> for students, yes, $10 students, for students, a student. Students and educators uh, can buy $10 tickets okay. from the Peace Center box office. All right. So that's, a, that's about like the price of a movie. So if you're Absolutely. an educator or a student, it's $10. Yes. And that's for this, con this particular event. Uh, it's for all of our concerts during for the season. For all of the concerts, all right. Yes. All right. And uh, then if you the have a group of chamber. people, if you have 10 people or more, you get 20% off yes. of, of the ticket price. So do call the Peace Center box office, 864 Four six seven three thousand, and I'm sure that you might find some some tickets left, and uh, it will be a, a great evening, I'm sure, I'm, I'm and a great afternoon. I'm happy to say that they are going fast, especially Saturday night. Yeah. Um, yeah. So uh, uh, there's a great deal of interest in this concert. And I think the fact that Van Cliburn, who recently died, was an American who brought a whole level of, of classical music, particularly piano, to the world. Mm -hmm. He really did. Yeah. And here was, you know, this lean guy from Texas. I always loved him. And, and I think it's, it's, a, it's a thrill for us as a nation to have no, that's our young people absolutely. with so much talent. And there's a lot of talent. Yeah I, yeah, I think in many ways he brought classical music to the forefront. Can any young pianist enter <clears throat> A Van Cliburn competition, or do you? And we're almost out of time. But do you have to be? Um, it's limitation in age, right? What it is, thirty uh, or twenty-five? Uh, did they ask you if you wanted to participate, or did so, you just say, "I'm here"? Uh, okay, so I, I, I will explain you how it works. Uh, we applied online. Okay. Yeah, at first about age limit. It's I believe okay. from eighteen till thirty something like okay. thirty-two. So you have to be eighteen. We are out of time. Bless you. Good luck. Good luck, Vadim, and thank, thank you. you for coming. Thank, thank you, Peggy. Put yes, that on you, your, your calendar for this weekend. <clears throat> you don't want to miss it. Thank you. Wherever you are, we wish you joy. Bye-bye.